All right, what's going on, everybody? Broken Games HDR back at it again with another video. So we got a little bit more information about the online content that Guerrilla Games is developing with the Horizon IP. So as we know, this generation, there has been a little bit more effort, initiative, and focus on PlayStation First Party Studios making some online and multiplayer co uh, content. Uh, and it's something that I fought very hard for last generation, and I complained about it a lot. And I had to argue with a lot of PlayStation fans and fanboys last generation because a lot of you tried to shut me down and say, oh, PlayStation doesn't need to make any multiplayer games. They got third party for that, and they just need to focus on what they're good at doing, which is single player games. And I said, that's not good enough. You can't say you're the best set of first party studios out there but you're a one trick pony it doesn't work that way right if you're going to have an online service which is playstation plus which you charge people to play online you got to provide some multiplayer content and you can't just rely on third parties but you know a lot of y'all tried to silence me about it but i'm glad jim ryan who leads playstation at least agrees with me on this because as we know about the effort with uh, games as a service and all the games as a service they plan to bring to PlayStation and, and they're making these multiplayer games uh, with PlayStation IPs. And I'm just happy about it. Not to say that I think every one of them is going to be an absolute success, but that doesn't matter. That is just irrelevant to the point that they should be doing this. So. Reading from VGC, uh, Guerrilla Games confirms uh, that it's working on a Horizon online co-op game. And we've we've learned, you know, heard rumors about this for a while. It was all but confirmed. I think this is the first time that they're officially acknowledging that they're making a Horizon co-op game, right? So let me just read a little bit. Uh, so Guerrilla Games has confirmed it's working on an online project set in the Horizon universe. The studio has uploaded 17 job positions for an for a new online project with several of the descriptions confirming that it, it's a Horizon game. Uh, Guerrilla Games is looking for a lead world designer to bring the expanding uh, the expanding Horizon universe to a multiplayer audience. Um, and that's for the lead designer role. Uh, another job ad uh, reads that Guerrilla Games is looking for an experienced and passionate uh, senior combat designer to help create a variety of machine enemies that are spectacular, challenging, and memorable to fight cooperatively. So I'm I'm glad to hear that because it's clear that they're not just going to like make some half-ass mode, right? Where they're, they're just going to take the uh, machines that you encounter in the single player. I'm sure we will see those too, but they're not just taking the machines that you see in the single player, putting them in an online environment and be like, all right, you kill these machines. They seem to actually be designing um, m machines and the experience around co-op. Because uh, one of the things I, I do worry about, and, and which is why I'm glad to read that statement, is <clears throat> part of the, I think, the lore um, uh, for Horizon, uh, what lures you in is the fact that you're taking on these giant, a lot of these giant machines <clears throat> solo, right? That's part of the the challenge, That, that that's part of the experience. And to, to have someone there with you, uh, I think kind of takes the appeal out of it a little bit, which is why you have to just, you have to kind of change what the game would feel like in a multiplayer cooperative environment, right? It, like I said, it, you can't just, just copy machines, paste it here and tell two people, okay, take down this machine. You kind of got to change a few things. You got to make it feel like it, it, it's put some cooperative mechanics in there. Um, and increase the challenge. You know, you, I think you got to scale it, scale it a little bit. Um, so that's why I'm glad to hear that. Uh, it also says Gorilla has now um, specifically addressed the online project set in the Horizon Universe. Uh, you can go on Twitter. Uh, it says a new cast of characters and a unique stylized look. Uh, friends will be able to explore the majestic wilds of Horizon together. Um, the studio clarified that it would continue to make epic solo adventures starring the series protagonist Aloy. Uh, and, and, you know, I kind of hate that PlayStation has to always just, like, assure PlayStation fans that, hey, just because we're making a multiplayer game doesn't mean we're not going to make single-player games. I, I hate that for, for PlayStation. I'm not going to lie, because a lot of y'all are a bunch of whiny baby bitches, just being completely frank. 
because it's like I, there are actually there are actually people who believe just because PlayStation is making multiplayer games, that means they are completely forsaking, abandoning, and just go going to neglect single player experiences. What led them to the success in the first place? Oh yeah, we're just going to completely abandon it for something that's at this point unknown as far as what the success is going to be. Yeah, we're just going to leave it by the wayside. Like that doesn't make any sense. Like they're perfectly capable of doing both. As I said it before, if you think they're the best studios in the world, which a lot of you do, why do you why do y'all think they can't do both? I I don't understand that part. And like they shouldn't have to like keep giving you this reinforcement like you're a child like oh don't worry handle you with kitty gloves hey don't worry we're not gonna forget your precious single player games that's what they do bro they're not just gonna like leave it relax i hate that they have to keep telling y'all that um but yeah uh the life at gorilla which is like their job posting page um posted these uh open positions and i like this i like the transparency I like the uh, the news that's coming from PlayStation. Like we learned about Spider Man, um, you know when that that's coming yesterday. We learned, uh, you know, this year we got the official announcement of, of of factions and stuff like that. Even though we haven't seen much, uh, we're getting this uh, this official acknowledgement of this Horizon uh, multiplayer, which makes sense because you know multiplayer. Uh, um, the closest game you can compare to Horizon, I guess, is Monster Hunter. And that obviously works in, in a multiplayer or or, or cooperative uh, fashion, which they should, uh, you know, take some <clears throat> take some hints from and everything like that. And this could be de could definitely be very, very exciting, successful. Uh, so this is something that they should venture into and, and try out. Um, it, it doesn't seem it, I'm not sure if this is going to be. It sounds like it's going to be a standalone game. Um, that's what it that's what it seems like. That's what that's what it uh sounds like and it seems like they're they're no they're not interested in just doing the the multiplayer uh you know um the half-assed not that you know not that i believe most of their past games multiplayer wise have been half-assed but but they're but they're making their their multiplayer games into their own into its own project and people should be happy about that especially the ones who are 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 so like sensitive and scared of multiplayer and, and co-op affecting the single player games. You should that should comfort you because they're they don't seem to be making any of these multiplayer projects alongside their single player counterparts. They give you the single player game and then they make the multiplayer game a completely separate thing at another time. So they're not doing it around the same time they're developing the single player. So you should be happy about that. Nothing to complain about. Um, one thing that I, obviously PlayStation needs to be careful about, as much as I love Horizon, right? I'm one of the people who loves Horizon, Platinum, both games, you know, the DLC, look forward to the new DLC. They have to be careful about like the oversaturation and the, and the burnout of Horizon, right? Because, you know, online, it's it's a cool thing. Let's be real. It's a cool lunch table thing to kind of hate on Horizon, you know. Right now, let's be real. It's it's a cool thing. It's it's the it thing. Oh, let's hate on let's hate on Horizon when the the game is honestly very underappreciated in in my opinion. Um, whether it's from a gameplay standpoint, technical standpoint, like there's a lot of people who don't appreciate what it is and what it does, and really uh just down downplay it like even if you don't like the story like you know there's other facets of the game that are you have to admit are extremely um impressive you know and people one of the things i hear the most is people say oh aloy is is boring but they're ready to do backflips for jin sakai you know who has literally one tone and one range and one emotional range an entire freaking game but you know that's another story let me not let me not get that's a, that's an entire entirely other story um but they have to be, be careful about this oversaturation of the of the horizon ip because even though i like it they 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 could possibly head in that direction because horizon is big regardless of how people try to downplay it the first one sold over 15 million um you know it's it's one of their it's this horizon forbidden west is it's it's in the top 10 uh best-selling games this this year uh, on npds so the numbers show that people buy the game. I mean, even though people, like I said, seem to hate on it, you could look at the completion rate, even though this is a long ass game, 
people beat the people buy the game and people beat the game. But I even think I still think PlayStation treats this game more than it actually is worth right now because so we've learned about so Horizon Call of the Mountain we know that's that's obviously official that's the PSVR game coming out in in um February we have Horizon Burning Shores that's the DLC coming out what is that March or something or April uh we have the Netflix Horizon series that's that's real um that's very real. I can't remember if that's going to be live action or animated. All, most of these PlayStation shows should be animated, by the way. Most of them. But whatever. So we, so we got three things, three uh, upcoming things with the IP so far. We know a Horizon 3 is going to happen. Um, we don't know when, but that's obviously going to happen. You know that if you played Horizon, uh, if you played, uh, you know, Horizon Forbidden West. Uh, this Horizon co op game, this is official. So that's one, two, three. For five, uh, five projects with the Horizon IP that is absolutely going to happen. Absolutely going to happen. Now, they may be spaced out, but still, those are five things in production for Horizon. One IP. And then there's, there's a Horizon MMO, which I think I read is actually, that was debunked, that it wasn't true. They, they were like, they um, outsourced it to some MMO maker. But I think I read that's, that's actually not true at all. I'm pretty, I'm like, 70% sure that that's that's not real and it was debunked and it's not not true. Um but it's possible that it actually is true. Either way, like I said, as much as I like the game, five projects for for one IP seems to be a little bit much. And God forbid the MMO thing is real. So I I think they need to relax a little bit with Horizon because you know, you got to let people want it. You don't you don't want to shove it down, you know, shove it in their face too much let people miss the game a little bit don't you know just do the shotgun effect of oh let's create as much horizon uh projects and content as possible you don't want to do that that's that's not good that's not gonna make anybody you know like it or love it any anymore um you definitely got to space it out so i think we got her obviously call it a mountain and burning shores coming out and Hopefully, after that, we don't get the Netflix series no time soon. And Horizon 3 uh, is is much further down the line, maybe at the end of this generation. And uh, this co-op game, um, I, I'm going to guess this co-op game doesn't even come out until like 2025, maybe the end of 2024. I'm going to be real with you. Because like we learned, we knew, so Naughty Dog has been working on factions, as we know, before before uh, Gorilla has been working on this. And, and we're probably not going to get the new factions, I think, until 2024. So I, don't, so I don't think we get this until maybe 2025. That's, that's what I believe the timeline is. Because the fact that they're, you know, posting jobs, uh, you know, all these jobs about it, still says to me that they need a lot, they need to place a lot of people in these uh, job seats um, and they're still somewhat at the beginning or middle phase of, of this multiplayer project. So, yeah, I don't think we see I don't think we see this multiplayer for a while. And that's the thing that kind of bums me out is like the multiplayer projects that PlayStation has been all these multiplayer projects they've been working on for a while. They're 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 a ways away, man. There there's some distance between now and actually getting them and that's really what i want i want these multiplayer projects because i've been fighting for them i've been fighting for them for a long time been fighting for them for a long time by myself too so yeah that's the uh the only bad thing about it all this waiting um uh, but let me know what y'all think about this let me know if y'all look forward to uh this multiplayer project uh hit the like button hit the notification bell follow me on twitter hit the join button all that good stuff. I'll catch y'all on the next video. I'm out. Peace.